It comes down to a legal concept of a guilty mind, I think, and somebody's opinion as to whether somebody was capable of making a distinction between right or wrong at the time. I think part of the, st part of the stigma or part of the, the, the pressure is that maybe somebody gets away with it and they're getting a free walk. They're not actually. They're being committed to a forensic institution basically at the pleasure of the medical care professional until they feel that they're appropriate or in their right minds enough to come out. Then when somebody does something like you know, and slaughter a family, and then they find that they're getting guided day parole because now they're in their right mind. S s some people have an intrinsic sense yeah. that there's something really wrong here.